Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Finish Our Online. And uh, my name is Riveras. My character is your blightness. And uh, let's get going with the questing. Let me see. Hello, everybody. Hello. That's what he's saying right there. And favors uh, the fortune. Consider the core. Okay. For the Federation, always good to see a new face. A bit too repetitive, huh? I'm a little bit tired and of the same. What did you say? Just what? picking up quests and here? blah blah blah. And um, I did finish some quests off camera. Basically, just kill what I needed to kill, and then went back there and didn't actually complete the quests. I just completed it. Completed. Complete them now. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Um, but uh, I've been playing Blade and Soul. Well, I was playing Blade and Soul. Mm -hmm. Where is he going? Okay. And uh, <coughs> I stopped playing for a while, as always. There's always that downtime for no reason. I don't know. It always happens to me. Uh, but I play Black there, so I'm what a game. Wow, <laughs> what a game. Um, uh, it just makes me want to use that word that I definitely, I've noticed that I definitely like to use that word. It was just uh, lackluster. So after I played Black Desert Online, like everything just feels lacking, so to speak. Uh, Terra is okay because Terra is not like this. It's not trying to be this full on this full on action um, and failing. I guess would be the word of it, um, which is what I would say for uh, Blade and Soul. Not that many people would agree with me, but I know why I say that. It's, you know, Blade and Soul is, is not a good action. Maybe they didn't fail at it because they did want it to be a little bit more, you know, uh, interactable with the characters that, that you were fighting with. So basically, they didn't fail. But yeah, what I wanted to say is just uh, Terra Online did, in, in my books, did what it was trying to do very well. Or at least did very, very good stuff. Which is why I like this game. But Blade and Soul, it, it did fail. Uh, my there are certain things that I just cannot agree with completely. Uh, like the fact that um, the movement is not very well from the beginning. Um, the. Um, I mean. I, if, if you don't want the auto run for like taking you to quests, that's okay, but I mean ever since Terra, I, I've kind of like auto demanded to have the auto run um, and at least to have like a good auto run I guess, which Blade and Soul doesn't really have, um, you know, because they want you to do this few things and, and then like they, they, they were trying to do this you know, like, they were trying to do this uh, special movements and you know stuff and and it didn't really feel well it didn't, feel, it didn't feel good enough because you had to go into like this platform and then press F so we would like do the interaction instead of you actually doing your stuff you know it just doesn't feel right for me the fact that you're so slow from the beginning, which I mentioned before, um, I mean, in the beginning, when I was started talking about it, um, it's just, it's bad, it doesn't feel fast, it doesn't feel good, I mean, the wind strike is actually, that, that would, you would have to give the props for that. Um, although at the beginning it's a little bit annoying, because you don't get uh, enough money, to, to start wind striding wherever you want to, so to speak. I didn't uh, end up needing money, but I did end up being like um, reserving a lot of, reserving, just saving up the money completely, fully, just for wind strides and anything that would actually 
really really important so everything else to like test for money like oh let me see this or, or i need like one more pie today well, which you never really end up needing pies um at the beginning of the game or anything else so because of the um, why am I talking so much about Blade as well? Whoa! Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, you don't need anything because it always gives you everything uh, with the surveys they give you, uh, with the quests, I guess. They can give you quite a bit of items that you don't need. So you don't have to buy anything at the beginning. All you have to do is use it for upgrades, use it for wind strides. If you ever need to buy the weapon, I guess, but if you're not rushing, like really, really going for the being the first, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter much. It just doesn't matter. Like you can just stay in that area until you get your knuckle dagger or whatever you want to get. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Let me see if I'm actually recording. Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> um, you know, it it's not gonna be the end of the world uh, just because you had to defeat the dungeon a few more times. Definitely a uh, great thing that they did there with the dungeons cross server um, because, you know, it has to be done um, with other people. It cannot be done solo, so really good that they did that. Um, really good that other people are from like the higher level, core, with higher level characters, can actually join you, Cherish makes your life exchange. really easy. Uh, yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, I was talking about the, <laughs> the gliding and the, and the running, and, and then I sidetracked again. You know, I really wish they wouldn't block this kind of stuff. It's, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, it's it feels pretty slow. Um, like at least with here with the auto run, it's always running, and you know, I, I just do this, and it it's good. It's easy. I no hand. <laughs> uh, Blade and Soul though, it's very bad. It like that feels low. That that feels slow. In Blade and Soul, it feels slow. And that's basically how you would have to do the auto run because there is an auto run. But as far as I've noticed, this is how the auto run would actually work. Walk, work. Good lord. Uh, but yeah, it just it, that was one of the biggest letdowns for me in terms of um, you know just normal gameplay. Uh, the biggest, another biggest letdown for me was the action style, but that was, that was a, a long time ago, a long time ago, and you know, I've gotten over it, so don't really care about that that much. Um, for the Federation, and for us. And you know, they did it for a purpose, they, they wanted it to be very one-on-one, -on -one, so uh, that's the reason they most likely decided to do it like that. They don't care much about the team. Um, you look troubled. Like basically, being free I to you. use Remember your skills your right there. They they don't care much for that. What they care for is for you to have that person that you are actually attacking at that moment, free. and then everything revolves around that person that you are attacking. So, uh, I I understand that. And therefore, I, I don't think that the system is flawed for what they want. Wouldn't say that the system is flawed at all. Um, it's just not to my fully liking. Um, but yeah, so apart from that, play Black Death Online. After I played Black Death Online, Blade and Soul just felt not great, not as good. It's just felt and I think I had to go down there <laughs> oh good lord the times the times let me see if I have a speed potion um, I should actually get my auras up there we go 
Now we are a little bit quicker, which is awesome. Which is awesome. I'm trying to perfect my English a little bit more. I know it sucks. Um, but yeah, uh, we were, I was talking about Black Desert Online. Oh yeah. Um, I already said the word lackluster, but yeah, that that word again. <laughs> it just remember it, this. Meeting. Wow, it, Black Desert Online when you can. blew, blew then my brains out. Or learn when they use that, I like push. Like, wow. the ego what a what a good game. Wow, like the graphics, yeah, the graphics are really good. The concept design, the the fact that it's gender lock, like nobody or most people don't like it. I really do not mind, um, because, well, some person in, in, in on YouTube said it said this once, like, you feel more connected to the character because the character has a personality I think that's kind of what he went for there and it, yeah it just connects you a bit more to your character so to me I really have no problems with gender lock but they've been doing uh, a thing where it's not gen kind of gender lock anymore <laughs> and I would really love it if they would do a if they would you know if this is not gonna be gender locked then just do the the same for the other classes and not just for this class that you just started developing you know like do it for all of them and oh i was doing f2 instead of two and that would be awesome because i'm hmm, i might want to play a ranger that is male as long as the armor looks cool it might play Ranger because I saw the Awakening of it and it looks really nice. Which the Awakening is like the class change for the Ranger for whichever class, and they haven't completely done all the, all of them, but look pretty cool. It definitely looks pretty cool. Something I'm going to dislike about this is that um, when a game comes in comes from Korea or Japan or some shit like that it's always gonna be um, late on the updates like it's gonna come out on Korea or Japan or maybe it's going to also come out for Russia and uh, and then it's going to come out for NA I mean I'm, I'm most likely it's going to come out for Russia first um, because it came out on Russia first, who knows? Uh, but it just it's it saddens me that they do that. It's kind of annoying as well. Um, like uh, for example, let me see how the camera is right now. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, Blade and Soul. Like I really wanted to play the Warlock, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that. But it's okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'll just have to wait, and I'll just have to get to max level with. Uh, damn it! I always forget the name. It's Kung Fu Master. Kung Fu Master. So yeah, I just have to get learn highest level with that and or learn through scars. <laughs> enjoy that class for now. Really like how the assassin looks, but not gonna. I think I did an assassin, but I was just testing if the warlock was out because I did get a warlock weapon, which was super weird. I don't know. So, um, yeah, Black Death Online. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Oh man, I was trying to say that real quick and uh, it didn't come out very well. Uh, now I need to kill these guys. Ah, damn. Okay, let's see, that's every... Okay, three more seconds. Come on. I can do it. Oh, he's already at 
<laughs> I was going to do the AOE thing. Uh, uh, okay, this, these guys are pretty cool. Uh, die pretty quickly, so that's that's gonna be fun. Because uh, that means I don't have to do much. Let me pick this up. Well, he takes control of the situation. So these guys are Cool, cool, good to know. Um, so yeah. So this is basically the last thing that I do is just play Blade and Soul and uh, Blackness Online. Greatest MMO I've ever played. Uh, but in terms of, well, not in terms of, but the newest and best MMO I've played would be Blackness Online. In terms of uh, feeling and nostalgia and maybe other stuff, of course there's gonna be other MMOs that are better. But why do I keep coming here? This game, I'm about to rage on this fucking game. Keep sending me here for no fucking reason. I've already dealt with the quests here, so why keep sending me back here? Or is this uh, another place that is just like that one? I don't think so. I think they just like to be damn annoying. Okay. Maybe it's just you need my help? they want you need me to my come help? back here. Okay. See what happens. Yeah, I've been here. Damn. Yeah. Oh man. Did they restart some quests for me? Because I think they did that once. Ah. I think I think it did. Ah, I think it did. I mean, the story quest is here, so most likely there's another quest that doesn't look like a repeating quest, and uh, yeah, it looks like they did. Spend a moment here. Um, there's another quest I need to drop off. Where would that guy be? Oh, there it is. Fortune favors the patient. Okay, so I don't want to pick another quest. That's why I took it easy there. And didn't push F many times. Okay, so let's see. That's 18 minutes already. And we want to do 20 to 25 minutes, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll be ending the video whenever I get there. Yeah, so like this online, great game, Blade and Soul, good game, um, with things that I do not like, but I do accept for the purpose of, you know, because that's what they wanted to do with the game. So they were not badly, badly implemented. It's just that I do not like it that way. Um, and Terra Online, yeah, keeps having like a a place in my heart for like. Yeah. Good, good MMOs that I'm not gonna play after I'm done with them. Uh, let me see. Okay. So, was it here that I said, oh, look, there's a new mob? And no, I think could be, could be. I just ha need to go forward a little bit more. I, I did all of this and uh, I killed these guys. I had a quest for that. And I guess now I didn't do this. I didn't go all the way over there. I think. Well, I didn't go all the way over there for a quest. I don't know. If I went for any other reason. Mm. 
really not that kind of person that sticks to an MMO for too long. I just uh, heard today from a guy on Twitch that uh, he had been playing uh, Final Fantasy XI for seven years, was it? And, uh, but yeah, I, I don't see myself doing that. I could have seen myself doing that uh, with repels. Repels is really good. I love repels. Damn, repels. I mean, he had a bunch of races and a bunch of classes, and like some classes were locked to, you know, race. Uh, but. Like, this is, they did this tricky thing where they didn't really have to redesign uh, the whole race, or I guess the word could be the whole class. Well, not the word, but what I'm looking for would be the class, not the race. Although, I would say they did the same thing for the races, but, but whatever. Um... Uh, I have to do something here. Um, Repels had a bunch of classes. They, what they did was uh, certain classes were like uh, repeating, uh, was like a, were like a clone of another class. So they would receive the, like the same weapons and the same armor, and you know, basically that would be it. But it was different enough, and uh, it just you know it was cool enough because you were a different class you were something else you okay really hated that the story um the story mobs are really like really really weak um as you can see there uh i should have i should have gone should have been gone. Um, I'm gonna be done. But yeah, yeah. Repels uh, did have like um, different classes, called it differently. Even though they did basically the same, they did uh, didn't do the same, but they basically did the same, and it was pretty cool because you know, you, oh wow, I have a a new class to play. Oh, okay, it's a little bit different, but it's something that could suit my style a little bit better because it's that bit different I don't know something like that man. Uh, but it would it was pretty cool it was pretty cool um, even though they they did clone certain classes you know it was a bit lazy but they had so many classes. I don't know man I don't even know what I'm saying just that Rappels did a good job cloning the classes, giving it a little bit of diff uh, a little bit of a different touch. To I think it, it was depending on the races, they would be called a little bit different. Like um, there would be the Tamer or the Gaia or Priya or something, and and then the Tamer for the other race would be called Beastmaster or something like that. And they would put like tiny little bit things differently. And it would just, you know, give it like a good touch, is basically what I mean. Um, and then those classes would upgrade to another class. Uh, and not only to, a, you know, another class, it would upgrade to two other classes. And then those two other classes would upgrade to one class. So they wouldn't deviate at, at the... So after the second class you would only have one option or maybe two options I don't remember very well but it was cool it was cool it was good and you know it had a really nice touch to it oh nice I'm still alive uh, it's taking it as if I'm in combat oh yeah because of those guys uh, but yeah so this is gonna be the episode for today guys sorry that it took uh, yeah it it, it, <laughs> it went a little bit uh, longer than I said it was gonna be but it's okay um, hope you enjoy hope you like it uh, give me a like give me a subscribe if you want to see more content give me a comment just to let me know what's going on if the content really 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 sucks and I need to really really change this whole 
fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome to know. So, on that note, I'll just, uh, I think next time I'll just be back at the next point and see what happens from there. But yeah, guys, see you. Have a good night and uh, good day, good afternoon, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.